employer's contribution to the MPS account of state government employees as well. This would help in enhancing the social security benefits of the state government employees and bring them at par with central government employees. Incentives for startups. Startups have emerged as drivers of growth for our economy. Over the past few years, the country has seen a manifold increase in successful startups. Eligible startups established before 31 3 2022 had been provided a tax incentive for three consecutive years out of the 10 years from incorporation. In view of the COVID pandemic, I propose to extend the period of incorporation of the eligible startup by one more year, that is up to 31 3 2023, for providing such tax incentives. Incentives for newly incorporated manufacturing entities under concessional tax regime. In an effort to establish a global competitive business environment for certain domestic companies, a concessional tax regime of 15% was introduced by our government for newly incorporated domestic manufacturing companies. I propose to extend the last date for commencement of manufacturing or production under Section 115B AB by one more year, that is from 31st March 2023 to 31st March 2024. Scheme for taxation of virtual digital assets. There has been a phenomenal increase in transaction in virtual digital assets. The magnitude and frequency of these transactions have made it imperative to provide for a specific tax regime. Accordingly, for the taxation of virtual digital assets, I propose to provide that any income from transfer of any virtual digital asset shall be taxed at the rate of 30%, 30%. No deduction in respect of any expenditure or allowance shall be allowed while computing such income except cost of acquisition. Further, loss from transfer of virtual digital asset cannot be set off against any other income. Further, in order to capture the transaction details, I also propose to provide for TDS on payment made in relation to transfer of TDS on payment made in relation to transfer of virtual digital asset at the rate of 1% of such consideration above a monetary threshold. Gift of virtual digital asset is also proposed. Litigation management to avoid repetitive appeals by the department. It has been observed that a lot of time and resources are consumed in filing of appeals which involve identical issues. Taking forward our policy of sound litigation management, I propose to provide that if a question of law in the case of an assessee is identical to a question of law which is pending in the appeal before a jurisdictional high court or supreme court in any case the filing of further appeal in the case of this assessee by the department shall be deferred till such a question of law is decided by the jurisdictional high court or the supreme court this